How's it going everybody? I am back in Fallout 4 and today we are going to be looking at the Tesla Cannon, the CR-74L combat rifle, and also the vault tech suits uh, customization. Uh, I'm going to be walking through each of the quests and showing you like the locations to go to. And so it's going to be in fast forward for a lot of this, but um, I'll stop at each location and we'll show you. So the first location for the Tesla Cannon quest is right next to um, Somerville Place. So I ran from uh, the Marina, Egret's Tour Marina. So for this quest, it's basically Vault 95 Gunners have found a uh, weapon from pre-war. And so you have to search these gunner corpses for uh like evidence to track down so you find this holotape on this first gunner near uh somerville place and then if you guys want to read the information uh or the stuff on the holotape you can pause it but basically you have to download pip boy data so hit triangle on the corpse and it brings up these uh, things. I've already played through this quest. That's the reason I stopped really, or I wasn't really like taking time to read any of this information. Uh, I had already read it, but I went slower so that you guys could kind of see what that stuff is and pause if you'd like. So then you're just going to head west into the uh, glowing sea, and I have a mod that gets rid of like storms and stuff so you can see mine is clear. Uh, you're going to find that the Hope's March Pentecostal church and there's a lot of ghouls in here so just go here kill all these ghouls if you haven't already this is a pretty fresh save so that's the reason that I haven't done a lot of this stuff but I'm just tossing some grenades in there and killing them jumping down and then uh, just finishing off the few that are in here but basically at the the altar There is another gunner laying behind that. Uh, same thing, he's got the pit boy data. Just click that. It's got some more story stuff. Basically, like I said, these gunners have found... It's Vault 95 gunners. They've found a pre-war weapon. Uh, and they are going to find this in the glowing sea. So then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to head over to, like, just outside of this place. Uh, you're going to head, like, southeast. There is a uh, radio tower. You go over here. There's another body. So for this one, again, you just download Pip-Boy data. You read the information. So uh, this is where they finally start talking about that. The guy blows up into a bloat fly, and then... You'll notice that like five more bloat flies spawn. So you just take them out. And you guys can witness my really bad aim. I don't play with controller very often anymore. I play a lot of PC games, but I'm playing on PlayStation 4 for Fallout 4 and 76. But then you come back over here after you've killed those guys, or killed those bloat flies. You extend the satellite to boost the signal. Uh, you have to wait until it gets up all the way, which is why I look up at it, because I was just waiting for that. So once it's fully extended, you'll get a new signal, uh, and you're going to look for the gunner signal remnant. So I am having a hard time because I've got like nine things to go through for some reason. But yeah, so then basically you're just going to head towards the rubble for the airplane. And then you'll get, you guys can see this invincible legendary vampire, vampiric blood bug. Has no health, regardless of how many times I shoot it. It doesn't die, and then it randomly dies on its own. So, bugs galore. Alright, so like I said, you're going to basically just head towards the, uh, the Skylane 166, I think is what it is, or 1666, uh, 1665. 
And then you're going to find this midsection of the plane. You're going to go over here and there's going to be a gunner laying here. And then basically in here it says that they found the gun. And then some more stuff about the story. I, I went through it twice for some reason. Back out and then you have to kill Caroni. And same thing, he has some Pip-Boy data that you can read, and it just says time for round two. I don't know exactly, uh, but that's the gun. And uh, just so everyone's aware, this gun does not have a reload animation. I don't know why it is like kind of broken. And then these are all the individual upgrades and stuff I, I really it's a long video anyway I'm going through three separate mods I'm just showing what they all are basically I'm not gonna put them all on separately and uh, try to use it but basically there's two different firing modes there's like a an explosive mode and then a uh, like the chain mode which is the one that I prefer um, but then you have all of the different mods. A lot of them are just basically either more damage and less accuracy or less damage and more accuracy. So uh, it just depends on what you want. Since I have the higher damage and less accurate mods, I went with the mod to make it a little bit better. So then this now is the uh, quest for the CR-74L combat rifle. Uh, this actually comes with a separate quest that I didn't even realize. There's basically two separate quest lines for this um, for this uh, gun. And uh, it's pretty interesting. So when you come over here, just east of Red Rocket, you'll see that there is... Or, well, east of... It's like northeast of Red Rocket, but east of... Uh, sanctuary there's some raiders over here you can just kill them and then just a little bit east of them there's a wall with a uh, a mercenary or Mary Jane and then you can see there's the bloodied CR 74 L that's the actual gun then you can take the traveling guide from her and Mary Jane's wedding ring and those are the two things that start the the separate quest of that so uh after you've done uh after you've picked up the gun you go into miscellaneous and you read the travel guide and it gives you the separate quest uh so now there's a whole quest line for uh the gun and for the couple's route home basically and you have to read the guide for the weapon as well to start the quest line for the gun. So basically the gun is just uh, it's based off of Assaultrons and stuff. And it's like got technology in it to make it work faster and work better than uh, regular combat rifles. So it's just a high-tech combat rifle pretty much. So uh, once you read the CR... Uh, 74L guide you do the modding guide as well but these are basically all different locations that the couple that you're like tracking have gone to you have to go to each one of those locations and uh, that's what gives you um, that quest that's how you finish that quest but for the CR 74L you have to go into the the wasteland travel guide so the commonwealth travel guide and then you would go to the cr 74l modding and then you can see each individual thing and it gives you a location to go to to find items for the gun to unlock like new scopes and stuff like that basically that uh, that are normal for other weapons but it basically gives you quests to unlock new things for this weapon. Uh, I think that it's a pretty interesting quest. Uh, 
I like having to go and get... I wish it was a little bit more uh, special to just this gun and like a little bit more uh, customized rather than just regular reflex scopes and stuff like that. But uh, you basically go pick up all these attachments or schematics for attachments or items to make attachments. The first one's at Red Rocket, which is not far from where the quest begins. The next one is in uh, Lexington. And you are going to... You're going to go into Lexington, and then there should be a guy named Artis. And he has a piece for the weapon as well. Or, well, a schematic for the weapon. So, as you go into Lexington, just stay on this left side, and you'll eventually see a, um, a fire escape on the side of this building. I don't know if he spawns here every single time, but mine did. But... As you go up to like the third floor, he'll be right there. He's coming down, it looks like. It looks like he's aggroed, but yeah. You can find a scope mod recipe on him. And you have to read the the scope mod. I shot the gun because I hadn't done it a single time yet. So then you can go into Diamond City. And for this specifically, you can get the item for free. If you wear a uh, uniform, which a uniform costs fourteen dollars or fourteen caps, or you can pay. It says dollars, so I don't know if it is with pre -war, pre war money or not. But it's a pretty easy thing to get with the uniform on. Uh, I don't know why I equipped that. But we put on the baseball uniform and then we head over to the dugout in, and you can see that there's a. Uh, vending machine out front and you're gonna go into here you can see that they've got different prices for everything if you have a uniform you can get the pine tar for free and then uh, get that part of the quest done so then now you're gonna go to Quincy to get the schematics for this last piece and this is a little bit more complicated because if you haven't cleared Quincy, it's going to be filled with gunners and stuff. I kind of try to sneak through for the most part, but uh, it kind of goes south pretty quick because I don't do a good job. I try to, I'm like sprinting through here, realize that I'm caught, someone sh shoots a nuke at me, and then uh, realize where I'm supposed to be going. Basically on the eastern end of town, there's a shop. You go in here inside the inside the cash register is a key. And then inside the safe next to the cash register is the actual schematic. And then here's me attempting to escape while getting shot at with missile launchers and guns and all sorts of crazy stuff. I end up hopping over the wall and getting out of there. So then, uh, in, oh, it wasn't even the last piece, I'm sorry. I still have to get the drill guide from Daisy in Good Neighbor. So, basically you just have to purchase this one. Uh, they've made it pretty decent at not making any of the things too expensive or too difficult to get, I guess. If you've already explored the world a little bit, you can get to all the locations fairly easy. But if not, then it's just a little bit more exploring that you're going to have to do. But you can see seven caps. Uh, the the suit for the baseball uniform cost me 14 caps. So, like, the most you're going to pay for this is 21, basically. And, like, I guess it does depend on your difficulty. I'm playing on very easy because I beat this game, like, 50 times. And I'm just trying to build for the most part, and do reviews, so, uh, now we're going to go through all the mods for the bloodied CR-74L, and this is after you've unlocked all of the mods, a lot of these won't be available, the 556, or the 556 round standard receiver is available before you unlock the advanced receivers, I just, um, I just went to that, because I have more, uh, 556 than I do 45, and then, uh, also, just the damage is increased. They've got three different types of barrels, all different, uh, three different lengths. Uh, 
each one has different stats and stuff that increase range or like uh, decrease range but increase accuracy and stuff. Uh, there is a full stock that increases your recoil, but then there's a light stock that you get after you've done the quest uh, that does superior recoil. There's short, regular, or short, extended, and uh, drum magazine. There's multiple, like, there's all the same scopes that you would regularly get. Uh, and then after you do the quest, you unlock a suppressor. So I equipped that because I prefer to have a suppressor. And then there's also paint jobs for these guns. You have black and chrome, gunner, minutemen, and then vault. I went with black and chrome. I like the way it looks. Uh, but that is the CR-74L. So then now I'm going to go through the, the extra quest that comes with the CR-74L mod. And uh, basically you're just going to go to the same locations that I showed earlier in the Commonwealth Travel Guide. And you are going to go into the Commonwealth, or you're going to go to those locations and then you're going to go into the Commonwealth Travel Guide. And basically you do like the additional info, it tells you some stuff, or you can just do like just, uh, you can do just the Sanctuary Hills or whatever right there. And it does this kind of like dialogue between you and I'm thinking the person whose travel guide you have, which is kind of interesting, but I don't exactly know. It's kind of interesting because it's a, it's a dialogue tree basically. And depending on what you say, it replies to you differently. So yeah, that's a... Uh, an interesting idea for the quest, I guess. But once you do look at a location, it tells you to go to a different location. Uh, and you go to any of these locations, and it gives you that same option that you just saw on the screen. And for the quest, though, it will tell you to go to another location. So this one says go to Lexington. So we go to Lexington. And for this, I basically, I don't know if you have to be at the exact location of the uh, the same place uh, as the travel guide says, but I just come in here. You can see the CR-74 does like pretty decent damage. Um, but I figure I don't really have to kill these guys, actually. I can just go into the the pit boy I'm not used to pit boy pausing everything anymore so we do the additional commentary or the additional comments or whatever I did this you can see what they say and then you go into Lexington and you can see what they had to say about it and you can reply to them and then uh, I think all you have to do is do the additional comments to actually further the quest uh, you can do these uh, speech options however you like. And uh, to me, I think that this is an interesting quest just for, like, a gun. Like, basically, you pay for the gun that has its own quest to get all the parts. But then you also get a quest line that is pretty interesting. I like, I like the way that this uh, Creation Club content was actually done. Uh, I have yet to play the Gunners vs. Minutemen or the Wasteland, or the Capital Wasteland Mercenaries pack or whatever. Uh, I do plan to play those, and those will probably be up in the next day or two. It depends on how much I have to, or how long it takes to actually do those both, but they may be in their own videos, they may be in separate ones. Uh, after you go to Lexington and you do the, the guide, you go to Diamond City. It tells you to go to Diamond City, at least. You go to the additional comments. It, it furthers the quest, which tells you to go to Good Neighbor. But you can see here, basically they find out that uh, they, the girl has cancer. It's a, it's a whole story in itself, which I like. I like the the quest that came with this mod and so then you can sit here and do the speech options however you like 
they talk about uh, the robot that makes noodles in Diamond City. But after you go here, the guide tells you to go to Diamond City. Or not Diamond City, Good Neighbor. After you do good at Diamond City, it tells you to go to Good Neighbor. So then you go to Good Neighbor, you select the additional comments, it updates the map, it tells you to go to Bunker Hill. And then you're basically following these people's like footsteps, basically. You're going uh, across the whole wasteland they that they explored basically and then you can have a conversation with i think this is lily that you're supposed to be talking to in the holotape and mary jane was the one that was dead near sanctuary But they have a conversation about the music of Good Neighbor and stuff about how this or what this they think of this place. And then you go to Bunker Hill, same thing. They tell you what they think of Bunker Hill, and then or like the conversation they had. And then it tells you that's the end of the quest like that uh, now you just have to go to Mary Jane or you have to return Mary Jane's ring to Lily so then spoiler alert when you go over here you'll find out that Lily is dead which is sad because that means that they explored the wasteland and then Mary Jane had to uh, Barry Lily near Quincy apparently uh, but that's the end of that quest way back home that comes with the CR 74L for the vault suits basically all it does is tell you to go pick up a shipment of vault suits it's in uh, Boston in like downtown Boston near like uh, Boston Commons and stuff in this room, there's a couple of, uh, there's a couple of feral goals, but as you can see right there, whenever I shot the Tesla cannon, there's no reload animation. That is a glitch in the game, uh, right now. I don't know if that'll ever get fixed. They have a hard time modding, or fixing these. Uh, you can see I don't have any items, so... I don't have any items to craft with, but it's got the same mods that a regular vault suit has, but you have every number from 1 to 120. I went ahead and selected 101, and then with colors, you've got clean, dirty, black, green, uh, orange, purple, red, white, yellow, and you have clean and dirty versions of both, or of all colors, basically. I picked the dirty standard version, but eventually I do change the colors around uh, to just do something different than a base one. But there's basically two different versions. So there's the vault suit, and the vault suit is the one from Fallout 4. And then there's the vault utility jumpsuit, which I believe is just the vault suit from Fallout 3. So... Uh, the difference is, is like some of the things are just a little bit clunkier. The belt on the the utility jumpsuit is just a little bit bigger. But that's basically the entire mod pack. There is uh, a lot of stuff that they added, and I'm excited to go through and see all of the uh, gunners versus Minutemen, and then also the uh, wasteland, the capital wasteland pack. So if you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, just let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.